Hey, what's up, everybody watching us from everywhere, yeah. all parts of the world. Welcome to the vibe, to the Mavuno Young and Fearless Vibe, where we turn ordinary people into fearless influencers like me, Shella, Judah, Happiness, Leroy, and Manu over there. So welcome, guys. Welcome. Feel free wherever you are. As you can see, we set up cozy, cool. We're about to worship our God in the way we can as young people with the language we know best. Okay, so don't feel That's intimidated right. by us. We just want to worship God. And I don't know what you're doing right now. Maybe you're in the kitchen or, you know, anywhere you are. Just sing along with us as we sing this song. But first, but first, let us pray. Let us pray. Awesome. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you because this is a vibe. We thank you, Father God, because you have given us this day and you have made it possible for us to be here today to praise and worship you. Through the internet, Father, we, we are able to fellowship. That's just the reality we are living in. And Father God, we will be happy because your word is being sprayed all over the world. And we are joyful and we are glad that that is happening. So Father God, may you connect us more than this Wi-Fi and internet. Connect us, oh God. May you connect us together as fellow believers in your, to build your church all around the world. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Awesome. Amen. Look, I know, I know the world seems so defeated right now. Like, yeah, when you look around, man, there's a lot of things happening. Like, Black Lives Matter, you know, people protesting and everything like that. And, I mean, people have been stuck home now because of Corona. And some were applying for school, some were, you know, waiting for jobs and... There's so much that has happened. Um, but I just want us to declare this right now, that no matter what is happening, because of the God that we serve, we are going to see a victory. Amen. We are going to see a victory. Because of the God that we serve, just, just say if we believe it, we are going to see a victory. Yeah. I don't know how long you have waited for that admission in school. You're supposed to travel and go outside of the country. Now you can't. I don't know about that. But let me tell you, we are going to see a victory because we serve a powerful God. Amen? Amen. Come on. I'm going to see a victory. I'm going to see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, God. I'm going to see a victory. I'm going to see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, God. I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, God. Come on, raise it up. I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. Wherever you are, just declare. For the battle belongs to you, God. I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, God. I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, God. You take. You take what the enemy meant for evil. Yes. You turn it for good. Yes. You turn it for good. Leroy, yeah. give it to us. Come on. You take what the enemy meant for evil. Yeah. And you turn it for good. Woo. You turn it for good. And to say it, to believe it. You take what the enemy made for evil. You turn it for good. You turn it for good. Declare that in your life right now. Come on. You take what the enemy made for evil. You turn it for good. It's your turn. It. Turn it for good. One more time. You take what the enemy made. You take what the enemy made for evil. Come on. You turn it for good. 
<laughs> you're turning. Now I want you to vibe with me, okay? Say, I'm gonna see your victory. Come on, I'm gonna see your victory. For the battle belongs to you, God. I'm gonna see your victory. I'm gonna see your victory. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. I'm gonna see your victory. I'm gonna see your victory. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. We're gonna see, we're gonna see. We're gonna see your victory. We're gonna see your victory. For the battle belongs to you, God. Oh, yes, Lord. The battle belongs to you, Jesus. You want to declare right now yes. that we're no longer going to fight with the thought that, oh my God, this didn't work. Yeah. Oh my God, I was hoping that you would come for me. But it looks like everything is not working for my good. Look, the Bible says all things are working for our good. Because God is intentional. Yes. God is intentional. He knows. This situation that is you're in right now is just a stepping stone. Trust me. It's a stepping stone. It might be here to prepare you for the next step that God is about to take you. So just believe because he is a man of his word. Yes. Amen? Yes. He is a man of his word. Of his word. Yes. Oh. Yes. Say all things are possible. Come on now. When we believe all chains are breakable. When we receive Yahweh, you keep your promises. If you said it, we believe it. If you said it, if you said it, we believe it. Come on, rock it. If you said it, we believe it. Cause you're a man of your word. If you said it, we believe it. If you say it, we believe it Cause you're a man of your word If you said it, we believe it Woo. If you say it, we believe it Cause you're a man of your word All things, come on All things are possible When we believe All chains are breakable When we when we receive Yahweh, you keep your promises. If you said it, we believe it. If you said it, if you said it, we believe it. Come on, that's what us. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you said it, we believe it. Do you believe? Do you believe? Come on. If you believe it, just write down the comment below. Hey, hey. If you say we believe it, cause you're a man of your word. We have this confidence. Come on, come on. You finished what you started. Yeah, yeah. You saw you have never changed. You want to start with me. Your presence yeah. in every step. Present, Lord. Your patience in every heartache. God, you have never changed. And you won't start with me. Hey. If you said it, we believe it. Hey, come on. Come on. If you said it, we believe it. Cause you're a man of your word. If you said it, we believe it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you said it, we believe it. You're a man of your word. We have this confidence. Yes, we do. You finished what you started. God, you have never changed. You all start with me. Yeah. You're patient in every step. Every step. You're patient in every heartache. God, you have never, never. changed. You all start with me. Just 
back with us. Come on. Hey, come on. Rock. Yes. Take some time and dance, man. Take some time and dance. Hey, come on. Come on. Come pole, on. Pole, come pole, on. Pole. Come on. Slowly, come on. slowly. Hey. Come on. If you said it, we believe it. If you said it, we believe it. If he said it, I believe it. If he said it, He said it, we believe it. Hey, come on. If you said it, we believe it. If you said it, we believe it. It's your right, man. Always. Love your word. If you said it, we believe it. If you said it, we believe it. Can we do the verse one more time? Yeah. All things, all things are possible. What? When we believe, all chains are breakable. All breakable. There's nothing. When we receive Yahweh, you keep your promises. If you say it, we believe it. If you said it, if you said it, we believe it. Hey, come on. Now. If you say you we believe it, it's your ramen of your word. If you say you we believe it, if you say you we believe it, it's your ramen of your word. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Right. So, what do you believe God says about you? That I'm forever saved. Amen. What do you believe God I'm says about fearless. you? Uh huh. That I am a child of God. I am His child. child. I am His child. That's right. So I am who you say I am. Yes. I am who you say I am. 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 You say I am. I am who you say I am. If you said you believe it. What's your identity, man? What's your identity? What are yeah. you struggling with? Yeah. Because God has said stuff about you. Like God has said you are fearless. God has said, what's your kingdom child? God has said he loves you. But what do you walk around carrying behind you or carrying on your head? I don't know how you carry it, whether it's on Instagram or wherever it is. Man. That's not your identity. Your identity can only be found in Christ. Christ alone. Because he's your creator. Yeah. See, today we're just here trying to tell you that, man, you are who he says you are. Yeah. You're, you're not who your mom says you are. You're not who your dad says you are. Exactly. You're who God says you are. Why? Because he knew you before you were even born. Yeah. What? Man. Can we take it again from the top? Let's take it again from the top. Okay. All things. Yeah. All things are possible. And this means all things. When we believe, all chains are breakable. Everything you're going through is breakable. When we receive Yahweh, Yahweh. you keep your promises. He keeps his promises. You don't, you don't like your dad or mom. If you say it, hey. we believe it. Yes. If you say it, yes. if you say it, we believe, believe it. it. If you say we believe it, you're a man of your word. If you say we believe it, if you say we believe it, you're a man of your word. Yes, Lord, we we come before you. We just say thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you so much for saying amazing things about us, Lord. Thank you so much yes. for saying amazing things and for calling us to be followers. It's not about the way we dress. It's not about whatever. It's about it's not about what we do. It's simply because you Come on, chose to speak positive stuff into our life. See, yeah. God says you're not a liar. You speak truth. Ooh. 
you're not was the name you're not, you're not addicted to pornography you're not addicted to whatever it is see you're bright you're brilliant you're smart receive it receive it God has said amazing stuff about you the only way you can know is if you dig deep into his word so dig deep and he'll take you wide he'll let you walk in confidence but you have to believe whatever you find out because he has said it and you have to believe it so believe it come on Manu finish finish it for us come on just finish it if you say we believe it if you say we believe it you're a man Yeah. If you say you believe it, it's your bombing of your word. Yes. Amen and amen and amen. I hope right now you're speaking life to yourself. All the things that God has said about you, it doesn't matter where you That's have right. been. That's it right. doesn't matter who people say you are That's right. you are what you say God say you are okay yeah. awesome That's right Hi guys, welcome to Mavuno Young and Fearless, where we turn ordinary people into fearless influencers of society. So you're all welcome. And join us, take a seat, relax. And today, yes. Paulette. Yes, Judah. Mm, how are you doing? I'm very well. I'm enjoying uh, my time, my COVID time. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yes. And you, how are you doing? I know, I'm chilling. Mm-hmm. Always chilling, but you know, listening to some good music like always. Okay. Kindly Maverick music. Yeah, I love their music. But what about you? For me, uh, first of all, I'm enjoying the sermons. These sermons are on fire. Ooh. Have you listened to them, Judah? Yes, I have. Yes, I yes, have. yes, like, yes. So it's I'm really learning a lot. What I'm learning is how do I even put it? How not to be fake, how to really like for real, like follow Jesus. That's deep. That's yeah. actually deep. Because also for me, I think I can now proudly say that I'm a follower of Jesus and I understand what it is to be a follower of Jesus. Wait, 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 wait. So this is this is the question I've been having in my head. Uh-huh. When you say a follower of Jesus, does it have to do with, what's the name? You are, is it, do you say that because of your appearance? Do you say that because you go to church? Because this, this is an example. If currently I'm wearing a shirt with TikTok, does that mean I work for TikTok? No, it doesn't necessarily mean that you work for TikTok. But I feel like um I get what you're saying. I yeah. get what you're saying. Like um you wear West African clothes. Yeah. I'm not throwing shit. You're West African, right? Yeah, when 100%. you wear a West African attire, I feel like uh for you that brings out your culture. But for me, I can wear a West African attire because I like it. And because I'm a fan of uh, the West African attire. Yeah. Wait, wait. For me, it's not, it's not because I, I want to, you know, it's, it's basically because, you know, I just love my culture and I like to tell people, you know, I'm from West Africa. Because yeah. I, think, I think, you know what, because we all say dress the way you want to be addressed. Mm. So if I dress saying... I am blessed. That means I want to be addressed as a blessed man. Yeah. But then if I address, which is written like this is the life, which means I want to tell you this is the life. Okay, I get it. I get it. And I feel like uh, <laughs> most people out there are fans of being Christian. Oof. Okay. That was, that was but like... But not followers. That's like a... I feel like it's... You just took the meat out of my soup and that's meat... Was really soft, like you're really enjoying yes. it. Fans of Christ. Yes, but, but not, not really followers, but not followers of Christ. Hashtag. 
Yes, I think that's a hashtag. Yeah, it's yeah. true. Because I feel like for me, being a follower of Christ is like when someone sees you there, they see Christ in you. Cool. Like you're a total representation of who he was and who he is. All right. So, wait. So if my mom... Uh-huh. Let's let's go okay, on this I'm trip. Waiting. Let's go on this trip. Okay. So if my mom asks me, or my mom is not at home, yeah. But then I want to tell the the caretaker of the house, yeah, that they should do something. You mean I should I should really look at it from I'm talking to the person like my mom. Yes. Is that what you're trying to say? Because you're like we are a representation of Christ on this earth. So it's more like yes. we're talking to people yes. or we are relating with people like Christ would. Yes. So you walk like he did, you talk like he did. Wow. Yes. That's that's really that's really profound. Because even when you look at our upbringing, we treat people like the way our parents treat them. Yeah, true. Like because of the values that were instilled in you, yeah. that's what you represent out there. Yeah. Yeah. And your parents will only instill the values they have. Yeah. Man, word. Let me let me snap for you. You know. Thanks, 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 word. thanks, 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 thanks. And um, I feel like as Christians, we really, really need to know what it means to be followers and just not fans. So I think that's where we go wrong. I went to church one day. Yeah. When I was in Ghana, and I decided not to comb my hair, so I went to church. Do you ever comb your hair though? Currently, I don't. Uh huh. <laughs> Thanks be to God, my hair has locked. Mm-hmm. But then before that, I, I really loved dreads. So I was like, you know, today let me just love myself and, you know, feel myself and decide not to go towards the name, to church with a combed hair. So mm-hmm. I went to church without my hair combed. Mm-hmm. And at the door, the usher or guest experience, I don't know what you call it in your church or... But then she was like, hi. Because she knows me. She was like, hi, Jida. Um, did you forget to comb your hair today? <laughs> and I was ah. like, no. And the way she looked at me, I was like, oh God, should I go back? Like, should I go back home, comb my hair and come back? Because it felt like I was not accepted. Yeah. Like I was not welcome. Because she is supposed to welcome me like, hi, you're welcome. Thank you for coming to church today. Have a good day. Yeah. And stuff. But she asked me a question like, you forgot to comb your hair today. I'm very, like, very sorry. But then at the end of the day, Man, it's not about the way you dress. But then, do we sometimes question ourselves, like, what is it then? If it's not about the way you dress, then what is it? I think it's about the relationship you have with God. And if you are really adhering to what he says, are you really following the values that he had? Yeah, Yeah, because I feel like we can go back to the Bible. Yes, let's go to the Bible. Uh, In the book of John 13, 34 to 36, which says, So now I am giving you a new commandment. Love each other just as I have loved you. You should love each other. Your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. Simon Peter asked, Lord, where are you going? And Jesus replied, You can't go with me now, but you will follow me later. Love. Trust me, it is so easy to read the Bible. It is so easy to praise God every day, to worship yeah. and cry, but it is so hard for us to love one another. Yeah. And that is one of the things that made Jesus who Jesus is, who we know him to be. Yeah. Yeah. How, how I'm getting this is if we go to church and do all the things, all the rituals, ritual things, which is demanded yeah. and everything, but we cannot love our neighbors because... Yeah. How can we say we love God if we can't even love the people we see? Yeah. Then which means then then our in fact I really think you should ask for forgiveness from God if that is that is the case because it's it's really sad yeah for us to say you love something you cannot see yeah or love someone you cannot see but yet mm. still cannot cannot really stay in a room or have a conversation or be nice to somebody who you can see. Mm. Like it's really, Jesus is deep. Paul yeah. emphasizes this even yeah. now after Jesus, because okay. I think it's in, um, I think it's Colossians, yeah, yeah. three, uh, twelve. Yes. 
it says, since God chose you to be the holy people he loves, you must clothe yourself with tender-hearted mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Make allowance for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Whoa. Remember, the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. Above all, clothe yourself with love, which binds us all together in perfect harmony. Above all, clothe Above yourself all. with love. Yes. So which means that then as, as a follower of Christ... Mm. Our clothes should not be this physical. It's not the way we dress. It's not our but appearance. It's, it has to do with our attitude towards others. Yes. Humility, gentleness, compassion, and love. I, I think my favorite part is above all. Love. love. So above all, yeah. wear love. Like show love to the people around you. Yeah. This sermon is really deep. Because really, I feel like really, I just realized that really. I've been a fan of Christ. It's really, I haven't really been a follower. Of yeah, Christ. even even for myself, even though um, the dressing parts really hurt me and all that. But yeah. currently, I guess it's not. I'm not going to concentrate so much on 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 trying to look acceptable to the people who are seated in the church who are also coming to seek Christ, but then trying to tap from Jesus, whereby I can live a life where if you see me, you see love, you see humility. And you see all the things, compassion and all the things he's talking about. Yeah. Because then that will make me a Christ follower. And that's all I want to be. That's all I think all of us should want to be. Yeah. Rather than trying to look Christian for 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 the people for sitting other in church. People, actually. Going to be like trying to look cool for the gram. Yeah, for clout. Yeah. Yeah, I think that we really, really need to focus not only on what we do in church, yes. but mostly on what we do outside to the people in the world. Yeah, because through our love, our compassion, our humility and all that, yeah. then we can lead people to Christ. And people when people see people stop seeing us and they start seeing Christ. Yeah. And they begin to get to know Christ. That's where discipleship starts. Because yeah. in church, you're made a disciple. But when you go out there, you're discipling others, which is discipleship. Yes, with the way you live. Yes. Wow. All right, guys. So I hope this sermon has really, or no, this conversation, let me not call it a sermon. This conversation has really sparked some, you know, some change and some thoughts. Yeah. And I would like to pray with us mm. and ask for the Holy Spirit, help from the Holy Spirit, that we will be clothed with the... With these gifts, I believe they are gifts and we cannot, yeah. we cannot really, all we can do is pray for them and then try and live like them. And then the Holy Spirit will help us to live like. So Heavenly Father, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you adoration. We thank you so much for this conversation that we've been able to have a conversation that is not about how we dress. It's not about anything, but it's just about following Jesus. And wearing love and wearing compassion and wearing humility. That people will see Jesus and not us, Lord God. May we decrease so that you may increase. Mm -hmm. May everyone listening to us today, Lord God, may you spark that fire that we will want to know you and want to be, be followers of you, not fans of you, Lord God. Not for the for the gram or for whatever it is. Mm -hmm. But then may, when people see us, may they see you and may they get to know you and may their relationship with you grow deeper and wide. In the name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen.